something that has guided my life in general is just say yes. You know, if there's an opportunity there, well, give it a try because you never know. The book that I wrote called No Excuses, Nine Ways Women Can Change How We Think About Power was intended to be a social commentary book. And then people started asking me to teach workshops using it. And I would do these workshops and I would see women have these incredible breakthroughs and gain confidence and courage and and just, it, it didn't take that much time. And it was, it was just mind boggling to me. And that kind of feedback was, well, you know, I was hooked. I was totally hooked. My goal was to write books once, one a year. That was my, that was my plan. And instead, the last book that I wrote actually led me to start to co-found Take the Lead, uh, my nonprofit organization whose mission is to prepare, develop, inspire, and propel women to take their fair and equal share of leadership positions across every sector by 2025. I co-founded Take the Lead in 2013, and we had our public launch in 2014, and much to our amazement, we filled up their 3,000-seat auditorium, and we had about a half a million people watching it on live stream around the world. Right then and there, I knew we had hit a nerve. So we just sort of took the plunge to change the narrative in our own heads from a focus on the problem to a focus on the solution. Women are so ready to stop hearing the same negative headlines and go, well, okay, well, this is what we do about it. There's been huge progress. We need to tell the positive stories, not just the negative ones. A couple of years ago, we were fortunate to get funding from a number of companies and foundations to start a program that was more intensive, which we titled 50 Women Can Change the World. It gave women that same kind of breakthrough, but also we discovered that 50 women really can change the world when they form a cohort. On the drawing boards, we have a 50 Women Can Change the World program for women in journalism, women in human resources, women in tech, women in finance, women in public policy and, and civic life. That's where we're headed is for these kind of more intensive programs for women in different sectors. I am a total fashion diva. I love fashion. I totally acknowledge that. I go for things that are simple, well-tailored, but have one little extra pop. You know, one little thing that's outrageous or interesting or different. You know, those are the kinds of things that I love. And when I can get dressed like that, I think it makes a huge difference. For me, that is part of teaching women their power tools. I mean, these nine power tools include define your own terms, which is about self-branding. And so I always encourage women to think about self-branding as including, how do I want to show up physically? How do I want people to see me? What will be my brand? And I wear red all the time because I love it and because it has become my brand. So that's where I am and it's from just saying yes.